We're here to compare the new DK LED Plug and Play G24. There are many types of G24s. The one that is in the ceiling here is the 26 watt. And with the four pins, it typically, in this color temperature, is going to have something in the nature directly under the light of about 16 to 17 foot candles. But it, this is uh, 26 to 2700 Kelvin. We're gonna put in the new DK product and what it has with the same quad pins is the ballast compatibility. So as I go up here, I have to use a uh, napkin because it's gonna be very hot. And the idea, you know, in the retrofit is just to be careful. Typically, you might turn these off. Now we're gonna go ahead and put in the DK LED replacement. Line it up. In. go that quick. Now we're going to run the foot candle test to see how we compare. And this is an exciting, again, innovation because it's so efficient in terms of the, the installation. So right there we are at 20. We have more light and we are using uh, 50 percent of the electricity. So this is a very competitive solution. We're going to go ahead now and use two other color temperatures to test the uh, foot candle output. We're now going to test the foot candle output relative to the DK. We came in at the 20 foot candle level for the 20, um, six and 700 range. Pull this one out and exchange it with the 4000. Get that one lined up in there. So it's going to be a slightly whiter light. Okay. Now we expect the foot candles to be a little bit higher typically as we go up in the Kelvin. So in this case, the other one was 20. We're now in the 22 and a half range for the 4,000 Kelvin level. And so I have the 6,000 Kelvin G24 direct replacement as opposed to the 4,000. And again, we're expecting that this is going to have a higher output in terms of foot candles than both the um, mid-2,000 Kelvin range and the, um, the 4,000. This one comes in at 25 foot candles. So the incremental increase is part of the output differential and it's really a question of um, output level and light color that the customers want to see in their ceiling.